Carrying a bridge construction is ongoing among the four bridges construction in Mano, Jendema, and Matujon chiefdoms under the small older commercialization and agri business development project or SCADE. Cecilia Sese has details. The visit by the Minister of Agriculture and Food Security and Delegation was a move to assess the progress on the replacement of the manual cable ferry crossing point to a standard bridge across the Little Scarces River. This is Tom Kari manual cable ferry crossing point currently under construction by the government of Sierra Leone with funding from World Bank through SCADE. The bridge stands between Tambaka Chiefdom and Sela Limba Chiefdom in Kaina district which is an agriculturally viable region where rice, cassava, oil palm and other commodities are produced in large quantities. The bridge when completed will not only create regional integration and promote agricultural marketing and trade, but will also create a link to the Guinea border. Minister of Agriculture and Food Security, Dr. Henry Musakpaka, expressed satisfaction over the progress made so far in the construction of the bridge, noting that the two regions are among the country's main rice bowl and were very significant to the success of the feed salon. Started, we started talking about it in October, nothing had happened. No mobilization, uh, we were talking about payments, we were talking about getting organized. And today, um, the team is against the schedule to do as much as they can before the next rainy season. As you can see behind us, there's a lot of mobilization, there's a lot of movement, a lot of hard work and the foundation, and everything is in progress, and the superstructure, a lot of them are prefabricated and they're already on. It's very important. I think for Pizza Alone, for this district, it connects all the communities here. It's a road that leads to Cambia, Carine, and even takes all of our produce from here to Guinea and vice versa. So it's going to be a regional integration bridge for the northwestern region and also linking to Guinea as well and Conakry. Country manager World Bank Sierra Leone, Abdul Mwonge, admonished the contractors to sustain progress and not compromise quality in the construction of the bridge. He encouraged the residents to not only utilize the bridge for agricultural activities, but to also use its proceeds to educate their children. When the bridge opens up, you have amazing opportunities that will come your way to boost income through agriculture, whether you do it on a small scale or you will have investors who partner with you and the chief dome to do large scale together with the national park. These are all opportunities that will come your way and it will be important for you to prepare how you start saving your money and thinking about transformation of this community. Chiefdom Speaker Tambaka Chiefdom Ibrahim Yansane expressed appreciation to government and partners for recognizing the significant role of the Chiefdom in agricultural productivity. He assured that with the construction of the bridge, the Chiefdom will contribute greatly to the Feed Salon goal. Tambaka will go without this bridge. Tambaka cannot do without this bridge. One or two years back, we are constrained. We are crossing with boats, which is very dangerous. So we pray that God bless the people behind this initiative for the construction of the bridge. So let me pray God. The people that we get the initiative say, say Lord, we get bridge now. Let God bless them, bless them generations. It is expected that the four bridges under the project, which are worth over 7.5 million US dollars, would be completed by June this year. SLBC News, Cecilia Sisi. In a historic moment for Sierra Leone, Ibrahim Cole and team comprising Drizzy League and Mohamed Waite have become the first Sierra Leoneans to participate in the famous Budapest Bamako rally alongside a little over 600 other participants from other parts of the world, driving an astonishing 9,000 kilometers from Europe to Africa. Esther Sako was part of the team and reached to the finish line. 
The Budapest Bamako Rally, known as the world's largest amateur vehicular rally and Africa's biggest humanitarian event, has been a beacon of hope and solidarity since its inception in 2005. Organized by Andrew Sesbo, the rally attracts participants from diverse backgrounds, driving across continents to raise awareness and support humanitarian causes. The generation was a uh, discovery and, and getting to know Africa better and building bridges between the people of Europe and, uh, and the people of West Africa. And I wanted to organize a rally that is not a speed race, but it's a navigational race and it's an endurance race. And it's about getting to know uh, the beautiful places in West Africa, like your country, Sierra Leone. Yes. As the rally's first stages departed from Hungary's capital on January 26, anticipation grew for the participants who aimed to reach the finish line in Freetown, Sierra Leone. The significance of this event for Sierra Leone cannot be overstated, as it marks the country's inaugural hosting of the Budapest Bamako Freetown Rally Finish Line 2024 event. Upon their arrival at the Balamuya border, the over 600 participants were greeted with overwhelming enthusiasm from locals, symbolizing the warm reception that awaited them throughout their journey. From there, they proceeded to Buga Beach, where the Minister of Tourism and Cultural Affairs, Nabila Farida Tunis, and other stakeholders welcomed them with open arms. For the first time since its inception, the rally saw the participation of Sail Union friends called Puzzle Pieces, making up of Ibrahim Jeffer Cole and his team, comprising Benjamin Menilek George, commonly called Drizelik, and Muhammad Warite, who embarked on this journey not only as adventurers but also as advocates for autism awareness. I be called proud representing hashtag Autism Dad. Um, it's been my 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 push for all this. I think every child deserves the right to have a normal development life and go up to be whatever they want to be. I got stuck in. In, in, in the uh, dunes. I was the one that was responsible for getting stuck. So that was very challenging. I didn't hear the end of it, but everything else was great. We um, had good bonding. I mean, there's a lot of learning in the car and um, just the experience with the different cultures that we are. Uh, we, we so this year, um, the puzzle pieces sport is not just me. The puzzle pieces sport are part of the rally. It helps you to raise awareness for um, autism and, you know, raise autism awareness and acceptance. Cause because we know um, in our society, kids with autism are frowned upon. Like there's not much education about the um, condition. So we are trying to raise awareness. Uh. This rally not just a test of endurance and navigation skills, but also a testament to human compassion and solidarity, holds immense significance for Sierra tourism sector. By hosting the Budapest Bamako Freetown Rally, Sierra showcases its natural beauty and rich cultural heritage to participants from around the world, fostering international friendship and collaboration. Reception of our event and wonderful participants is something I have no doubt the people of Sierra Leone enjoy doing. Your presence here today, from different cultural backgrounds, has rendered our city very colorful and vibrant, providing a rich cultural mix with a memorable experience. We also express our deep appreciation for the donation handed out to the communities this morning. Participants like Bogdan Funk and Ben Hid expressed their excitement for experiencing Sierra Leone's hospitality. Uh, I was really uh, afraid in the beginning. After in Morocco, I feel a little bit Africa, but when we came down, it was always much better. It's beautiful, the country is, is lovely, uh, the people are really friendly and helpful. It was beautiful. Their journey marked by moments of joy and happiness culminated in the presentation of certificates of participation at the finish line, symbolizing their collective achievements and the spirit of unity that defines the Budapest Bamako Rally. SLBC News, Esther Sako reporting. You're watching SLBC News. Continue to stay with us as we go in for more stories. Now, the African Governance Committee in Mauritius has awarded the Sierra Leone Local Content Agency the African Continent Award as the most outstanding local content agency in Africa during the African Governance Conference held in Mauritius. 
the agency was selected among other 16 African countries nominated for the award. In an interview with SLBC's Ibrahim Samura, the Director General of Local Content Agency for the Bad Double said the agency was awarded among other things for promoting local content policy in the country and creating markets for opportunities at local and international levels. I'm very much humbled uh, about this recognition. Um, it's been a long journey, um, you know, since 2018 when uh, I was appointed by His Excellency the President. Um, I decided to make sure the present vision about local content become mine, which is in making sure that we seek the welfare and interests of our indigenous Sierra unions. We want to be able to make sure they don't compete not only at uh, the local stage here in Sierra Leone, but at the global stage. Um, so having this award is just means to me that um, Sierra Leone definitely is in the right part of history. Um, we don't take it for granted because it could have been any other institution in any other African country. So um, coming to us at local content um, is, can only be commended, if you like. It's been a long journey, like I mentioned, um, you know, um, being a regulator is not something easy to come by um, because it means technically forcing people to comply with your laws and provisions set in the act. Um, I mean, so, but we have been deliberate about making sure that we make this economy a local content economy by making sure um, companies that are mandated by law to comply with our local content. And what are the secrets behind this success? These are big achievements. Absolutely. Um, the secret behind this is dedication, commitment, you know, to your work, whatever you do. Um, just ensure you put your all into it, that someone is watching that you are not seeing. Um, so it's not really about President Bill coming to supervise your work, but making sure that you have a work to do uh, for the people of Sierra Leone. And so that's what we do here day in and day out, um, various departments across. This is not an award or recognition just about me being the DG, but um, by incredible team that I have across various departments, whether ranging from operations, uh, business development, our in, 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 indefatigable team at the uh, communications and outreach department, our skills development department, to name but a few, and my admin team as well. Um, they have been incredible in making the working environment conducive um, day in and day out. So this is just, I mean, the scene right now but it did not just happen because of me um, there are incredible people out there and you that this made this happen in Mauritius. that's correct so tell um, Sierra Leoneans um, um, how was the selection process how Sierra Leone to the um, local content agency was selected absolutely um, what I was made to understand um, like I said I was contacted about this in October of last year uh, now February 8th was the day when this award was actually presented to awardees and I was fortunate to be one of the awardees among 16 other African countries. And that was the Director General of the Sierra Leone Local Content Agency for the Bad Dabo ending that interview with the SLBC's Ibrahim Samara. From there we move over to the Sports Desk for the update.